great to hear from you. I'll give it to my producers yeah. and see what they say. Do yeah. you think I sent this Delete. to my producers? <laughs> Delete. Wow. Delete. Well, recently, Michael B. Jordan was on the red carpet, and he had a moment where he was being interviewed by a person he had gone to high school with. Oh, yeah. And in the middle of the interview, he was, she was like, hey, we were in Newark together. We went to school together. And he's like, yeah, I remember. You called me corny. Oh, wow. So we took Saw his that. opportunity to fire a shot on the red house. She was like, no, I didn't. He goes, yes, you did. Yeah. I read the whole article, and she had. She oh, had wow. talked about when they were in high school, he used to show up with his headshots. He was all actory. Oh, he wow. wanted to be an actor. They were like, you're such a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, lo and behold, look at him now. Michael B. Jordan. And so we got to thinking about petty revenge. Mm. Um, was there ever anyone in your your life that maybe tried to step on you, make you feel small, mm -hmm. and then eventually had to come back with their tail between your legs, because listen, this woman on the red car mm. carpet needed a clip from him, mm. and she had been not very nice to him before. Yes. So I'm going to start with my story. I've yes. got many. Because of the industry that we are in, <laughs> I have yeah. many. Yeah. When I started in this industry, I felt like people were really mean, but <laughs> uh, one in particular, I was um, at a different broadcasting company. And I, it was my one of my first jobs. I was a chase producer. And I was so depressed in this job because of the way we were treated by the woman running it. Mm -hmm. I would sit there in my parents' house still. I was in my mid-20s, look out the window and think, how do I get out of this? Oh, yeah. I want a career in journalism, yeah. but I have to go to work. I'd go to work. She would berate <coughs> us. We were responsible for getting the guests that would be on the 24-hour news show yeah, okay. on at this station. And if we weren't getting them fast enough, if we weren't booking the people we wanted, if the interview didn't go well with the anchor, we got in yeah, so much yeah, trouble. Yeah. Anyway, fast forward, I get out of that job, I start reporting, I start anchoring, I land here. Sure enough, I look in my Facebook Messenger, oh. and isn't there a message from this very same producer who has moved on mm. and now has her own business? Mm. And it's a business, I better not say the business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you could just tell us her name. Yeah, yeah right? It it's her uh -huh. business, it's a business that would be applicable to City Line viewers. Right, mm. right. Hi, Tracy, oh. it's been so long. I'll give it to my producers yeah. and see what they say. Do yeah. you think I sent this Delete. to my producers? <laughs> Delete. Well, Delete. Well, 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 I well, took yeah. the high road, but I was like, road. absolutely not. Road. This yeah. is why the lesson is yeah. do not be rude. Don't be yeah. mean to don't people. Be mean. Yeah. Not mean. on the way up, no. not on the way no, down. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, who wants to go next? Oh, I can go. Sarah's got a good one. Yeah, she's ready. Don't be mean. She's ready. I totally forgot about this until I found out this is what we were talking about. But there were a couple of women in the design industry who were targeting other people like me, not just me other people as well mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. and so when I got a job in a magazine a really great job I knew I messaged my friend right away and I said and now we wait mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I knew that they would publicly say something yeah. negative about yeah. me on social media mm -hmm. so the next day sure enough I get screenshots from mutual friends because we are not friends mm -hmm. on any form of media <laughs> yeah. at this point so I get uh, the screenshots of all they were making fun of my DIYs uh, of a cake oh. I made my son years ago as a joke like all these petty things yeah, yeah. right so I, I don't care what they think about me, but I did hold on to it. And then when I left the magazine, <laughs> I don't care, but I care. Uh -huh. I, I care about Shred. accountability. Yes. That's what I care. Yeah. So I, when I left the magazine, I sent them each an email, and I said, uh, when I worked at the magazine, I had to maintain a level of professionalism. One of them pitched me at the magazine too. Yeah. By the way, yeah. I yeah. forgot until you said that. Wow. See ya. Yeah. Um, I said, but yeah. I want you to know that I saw that post you did. And women trashing women on social media is not okay. Gross. I don't yeah. care what you think. Yeah. I, your opinion does not matter to me. I don't want or need an apology, but my God, it feels good <laughs> yeah. to call you out on this. And then I ended <laughs> it, wishing you all the success you deserve. Good for you. Sex. Good for Which you. is zero. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no, a really, really MVP. good one. Uh, I was a crazy kid. Student, not the best scholastically. Okay. Uh, could shoot a really great free throw. <laughs> and cook you a great omelet. <laughs> really quick, I, uh, my grade 11 English teacher was like, you probably won't go too far uh, in certain things. Uh -huh. Jerk. Uh -huh. um, nice guy, but just semi-jerk. And I, later in life, had two best-selling cookbooks, and you know, all over the world. And there you go. You never know what you'll get. No. So I also, the, I actually gave a cookbook, signed cookbook, to him. Oh, yes, God. you did. A, yes. A, a dish served cold or something like that. They say revenge. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So good. My goodness. Very nice. That'll show you, teacher. I'm sure. hearing all these stories, and I'm embarrassed to share mine now because I feel like it's going to make me super petty. But no. I don't care. No, so, <laughs> so this is. Get this low. is 
low. Year, yeah, it's going to be super low. <laughs> so this was like years ago when I was still like, you know, when I was younger in the club scene, we used to go out, we used to have fun, and there was a club called The Comfort Zone. It's not around anymore, so I can say Ooh. it. It was, it was an after hours yeah. party. I know The Comfort know Zone. Too. That's how clubby I was. Yeah. So, so we were clubbing and then the after party. We are at the after party. I was with a friend. He got really, 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 he was having a good time, got really drunk. Mm -hmm. It was like, time to go home. Yeah. I'm not one person who will never let friends go home by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So got into the back of the cab. You know, I was saying to him, I'm like, don't worry. He's like, I think I'm going to. I'm like, no, 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 just hold on. To, and the cab driver could see uh, that we were yes. both gay and started to make comments. Oh. And so the whole time I was like, no, 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 don't worry. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. And then he just made comments that it was just too much. Yeah. So then I started to say, runny eggs, tuna. Yeah. What else is oh, going to yes. be? <laughs> he projects oh. all over the taxi cab. He it. You remember me? Yeah. <laughs> you deserve Amazing. that. Yeah. yeah. Anymore, I promise. But I love that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. a good use of the no, I, yeah. okay, so I feel good. better. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing. I don't have any off the top of my head. However, yeah. we've established on the show many times before, I'm a ghoster. Yes. So I do get yeah. the people reaching out from who were never my friends and now want to be my best friend Got when it. they need something. Yeah. So yeah. I'm highly sensitive and skeptical to all of those things. But I'm also one of those people that holds cards for a long mm. time. Ooh. A long time. So although I don't necessarily remember it now, yeah. if I crossed your path in a little while yeah. and the memory's triggered, uh -huh. you better believe I'm going into the Rolodex and yeah. doing the spin. <laughs> Yeah. And cashing yeah. in that ticket. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing that I loved about Michael B. Jordan yeah. was that, and, and this is a lesson, and I actually thought a lot about this after watching the interview, <laughs> boy is there for business. Right. Yeah. And although he called her out, he yes. took all the opportunity in the world to promote that movie right. and get all right. in right. For, that was for him. That's he right. made that moment serve him. So that's the one thing I've learned with the pettiness. Yeah. Don't just do it out of emotion. Yes. Work it in your favor. Yeah. That's yes. right. And yeah. if you're yeah. mean, someone might barf in your cat. <laughs> <laughs>